welcome back to my channel. Um, the reason that I'm doing a video today is because I just have come back from a very long um, appointment uh, via Microsoft Teams online um, with my with a new social worker who I hadn't met before. Um, because they change them around so frequently, it gets ridiculous. The last one I saw about six months ago or so, had a one-off meeting with her, she left, and I've got a new one, he'll probably leave again soon, so... Anyway, he randomly got in contact with me last week to arrange this meeting. Um, it's a bit stressful. Um... He actually phoned me and I don't like unexpected phone calls so I was a little bit, because normally when a phone rings I automatically expect it will be my dad, because that's usually when a phone rings it's my dad. Um, that could be a little annoying when I'm in the middle of something but if it's my dad it's kind of predictable and it's okay. Um, so I was expecting it to be my dad um, but it wasn't and I was like stressed out so I just say I said you know I don't like um, unexpected phone calls um I was that close to putting a phone down because I was a bit annoyed but I didn't I held on and he then then later then he sent me an email which was rather stressful because it was done via this county council kind of security thing where you can't send a direct email you have to go via this security thing where you have to put in a password and stuff which you never used to have to do that. It seems to be get tightened up on security or something. Um, and that was um, stressful. Oh my God, I absolutely hate passwords. So again, that put me off sending email. I was all motivated to send an email, but that kind of stressed me out and put me off sending it. I did eventually send it, and I said to him, look, I said, can you send me direct emails because I find that really stressful. And he did do that with the next one, which was good. Because um, when you already have executive functioning issues as I have, um, it takes a lot of energy sometimes to like do that sort of stuff. Um, it's like an extra impediment in your way, really. It's like I was all motivated to send the email and then you have to do all that extra kind of bureaucratic stuff and it's just really hard. Um, anyway, so he arranged a meeting and I, and I saw him today on uh, Microsoft Teams online. And the meeting went on a lot longer than I was expecting. It went on from about 11.30 to 12.30, something ridiculous. Um, it seems to go on longer than that. I don't know. It went on a really long time. And he was asking me all these questions about my social care needs and stuff like that, which is always really very gruelling, having to go into your details about, you know, what you find difficult and stuff like that. Um... And I said, oh, so I'm looking long term into the future, I, I told him about how at the moment, my dad, who lives one door down from me, which is very convenient, my dad does all my cleaning for me. Um, because I really, really struggle with cleaning. Um, it's an executive functioning impairment. It's not that I don't have the knowledge or that I can't learn the knowledge of how to clean, because I do have the knowledge of how to clean. I know what you're supposed to do. It's not that I need someone to teach me how to clean. It's that I really, really struggle with actually executing the task. Um, and that's because of my autism. And I've always had this problem. Uh, so the way my autism affects me is that I have a locus of focus, that just happens to rhyme, <laughs> that um, is either turned on or off. So if it's an activity that has intrinsic motivation for me, like say currently learning how to knit and sew and things like that, I could be 100% laser focused for hours okay because i'm motivated to do it intrinsic motivation for hours hyper focus for hours because i'm interested in it 
because it's a special interest. It's a monofocus, an area of special intense focus, which I can do for hours. If it's not an area of monofocus, and I'm lucky by the way that cooking happens to be an area of monofocus, so I can cook and I enjoy cooking, and that's part of my routine. And I'm lucky that one of my areas of monofocus and special interest is cooking. I used to have one functional area. And maybe for some autistics, cleaning is an area of monofocus, but they neglect to cook proper meals. For me, cleaning is not an area of monofocus. Therefore, it doesn't get done. Yes, it's got nothing to do with laziness. It's got nothing to do with shirking. It's got nothing to do with choice. This is to do with my autism. But I always have to explain this to these people. I feel they don't get it. Um, they don't seem to understand that it's part of my disability. Bearing in mind this is a person who doesn't actually, who hadn't actually met me before either, by the way. So they don't have my history. They're just seeing me for the first time. And I then have to go to great lengths to explain it to them. He did get it, to do him fair, and he was a nice person and he did get it. But I felt I did have to explain it to him in order for him to get it. I sort of wish I didn't have to do that. Um, so yeah, so what, I, so what I'm coming on to. So I really, really struggle with cleaning. My dad do currently does it for me when I let him into my place, bearing in mind I have very bad OCD, and I've only begun to let him into my place after I've had my fourth vaccination. That's some progress. I do feel safe enough and confident enough now to let him into my place while I'm out to do some essential cleaning. If I hadn't had that fourth vaccination, that would not happen. So that's why having these regular vaccinations so essential for my kind of health and safety needs, I guess, to be met. Um, but at least now I am allowing my dad into my place and he has done some essential cleaning recently to make sure that things, you know, don't get out of completely, you know, to keep things you know, to keep things reasonably um, clean. Um, and my dad does that. He does the cleaning. Um, so yeah, it's an executive functioning issue. It's to do with the fact I really struggle to initiate and to maintain focus without getting distracted on something where my intense hyper-focus is not located. That's an autism issue. And I suspect that if you are autistic or if you have like other conditions like, I know ADHD people can also struggle with that, or other uh, neurological uh, disabilities watching this, you will probably understand um, what, it, what, what that is like. Um, I have it very badly in the way my autism affects me. My executive functioning is either switched on, as it is with cooking, because that's an area of hyperfocus, or it's not switched on. It's not like I completely lack executive functioning because I can cook because that's part of my special interest. But that's the way it is with autism. In some areas you excel if it's your interest. In other areas you don't excel. People, again, don't often get it. They're like, well, you can do that task. Yeah, because that task happens to be my area of monofocus and special interest and intense focus. That's where my attention is laser focused. That's where my attention is fully on. But if I'm not interested in it, then I don't have that, and then I can't do it. It's all or nothing. Um, so yeah, cleaning is a major issue for me. Um, as is filling out forms, can't do that either because my attention isn't switched on for that, I go into meltdown. It just doesn't happen. It's a complete paralysis mentally. It just doesn't happen. Again, it's not that I don't have the skills to do it, intelligently, intellectually, I have the intelligence to do it if my executive functioning was not impaired. But my executive functioning is impaired. So although I do have the intelligence to, in theory, do it, my executive functioning means I cannot initiate. I can't do it. Um, so yeah, it's really hard to explain it to this, these people. Um, so anyway, I'm going to move over video number two because I want to get to the nuts and bolts of the matter of why this was such a big issue in my conversation today. So moving over to video number two.